This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Conan Exiles video. Today I'm going to show you three easy ways to beat the arena champion. Let's get to it. So this is one of the bosses that people seem to have the absolute most hardest time with. So I'm back making another guide for it. My other guides are somewhat out of dated, so we're doing an updated guide. The first way I'm going to show you to beat her is honestly the easiest way to go about doing this because it takes the least amount of effort. And to show you how easy this method is, I'm going to do it but naked. So I've put a few points in vitality and a few points in grit because the extra stamina is handy. I was hoping the few points in vitality would keep her from one-shotting me if she managed to hit me. Uh, it does not. I died a couple of times attempting this. Just as a disclaimer, if she does hit you, you probably will die if you're not wearing any armor. However, you're probably going to be wearing armor. So to do this, you need a stack of snake arrows and a bow. Any old bow will do. So the arena champion has extremely high armor and in order to bypass that, all you have to do is poison her. So we're going to use poison to kill her and we're going to use the the bow to somewhat keep our distance here. So essentially all you have to do with this method is get a full 10 stacks of poison on her and then just keep those 10 stacks on her, allowing her to take 32 damage per second. And then you just focus on dodging her and pecking her with an arrow every now and then. She has a really, really predictable attack pattern. She's going to come at you and she's going to swing or she's going to jump and swing. And all you have to do is step to the side or roll to the side and dodge her and then shoot her. Do not shoot her unless she attacking so you dodge and then while she's attacking that's when you want to get a shot in don't try to get a shot in when she is coming at you I also discovered it was much better with this method to do the aim shot as opposed to just shooting from the hip when you shoot from the hip it slows you down and that slowdown seems to last a lot longer than when you aim and shoot so you can just quickly aim and shoot fire a shot off and keep those stacks of poison on her and then you just rinse and repeat this as you see me doing in the video and wait for the poison to kill her. It's a pretty easy method. If you have thralls with you and you're attempting to do this, you can just park your thralls and put them in passive, park them somewhere in the corner out of the way. I do advise keeping an eye out for the rocks that are nearby there. Uh, they can trip you up a little bit. Your best bet is to find a nice open area there and just kind of keep her in that open area. But you can see all I do is just wait till she comes at me. I step to the side and roll out of the way, put some distance between us, allow my stamina to regen and then fire an arrow. The next method is a full build method. So we are doing a full agility build for this and that is because we are making use of the short sword. I gotta give a massive shout out to WAC4863 for informing me that the short sword will stun lock the arena champion. And that is why we are using the short sword and an agility build for killing her with a full build solo mode. You wanna make sure that you use the best short sword that you can craft, probably just going to be a star metal short sword and you wanna put a balanced weapon weapon fitting on it. This is going to drastically reduce the amount of stamina it takes to swing the thing. Then I am using an elixir of grace and a salted exquisite meat to further boost my damage. Then I am wearing the full Skelos Cultus Master set and the Silent Legion chest piece. I swapped that out for the Skelos Cultus Master chest piece because it has more armor on it. However, you could just wear the Cultus Master full set. You'll just be down a little bit of armor, but that is the set that is going to increase your agility weapon damage the most. Now, as stated, the short sword will stun lock her. However, you want to be careful when you go in to attack. You want to wait until she finishes an attack animation and then jump on her quickly before she can start another one. Then you want to attack over and over and over and over again until you are almost out of stamina. That allows you to roll out of the way and make one dodge, putting as much distance between you and her as possible, allowing you to regen your stamina. Wait until she goes into an attack animation again finishes her attack animation and then you jump on her. Now the short sword does have a combo that you can run where you do one heavy and then a bunch of light attacks. I do not advise doing this. I was testing with this and there are times where she can get in an attack. When she starts an attack, you're stuck in your animation for a second because you've already queued up multiple attacks with that setup and she will just tear you up. Your best bet is just to spam light attacks. That's it. Just don't worry about doing anything fancy and just rinse and repeat the combo over and over. Go in, attack with a bunch of light attacks until you're almost out of stamina, then back out of the way. Make sure she goes in for an attack, dodge, roll out of the way. That's 
going to give you plenty of time to put distance between you and her, allow your stamina to regen, wait till she attacks, and then jump in on her again as soon as she has finished her attack animation. And that's really all you have to do. This setup brings her down super fast and easy. As you can see, we're doing 35 damage to her per swing, and that's it. It's a piece of cake. Now we have the thrall setup. So I have a quick disclaimer before we get into this one, and that is use this at your own risk. If you lose your thralls, don't at me. Uh, you should not use thralls to fight her. I do not recommend using thralls to fight her. However, if you can pull this off, it works relatively well. It is dangerous though. She will tear up your thralls. She will kill your thralls if you screw up. You have been warned. So if you want to attempt to do this, I advise stacking a buttload of grit, taking your authority all the way to max, and you want to get war party so you can have two thralls. Then put those thralls in as much armor as you can possibly put them in. Reroll them until they have as much HP as you can possibly get on them. You want at least 4,000 HP. I highly advise using something like Berserkers. For the thrall weapon, you want to use maces on both of them. Whatever mace you can get that's the highest level mace you can put on them at that given point of time. I advise putting tenderizers on them. Tenderizers are one of the best maces that you can put on your thralls and one of the best weapons you can put on your thralls when you're running dual thralls. They do really good damage, they have good armor pen, and they are going to stack Sunder on her, allowing you to do more damage. Now, you're not really going to be focused on damage. You're using your thralls as damage. Your role in this setup is to keep her stun locked so your thralls can beat the crap out of her. And that is why you want to get as much grit as you possibly can. I am also using full stamina bonus armor consisting of Silent Legion medium helmet, the reptilian chest piece, the gauntlets of the brute, the void forged dragon bone kilt, and the reptilian boots. Now, I want a little overkill on this. Both of my buffs are also giving me increased stamina at a total of 42 additional stamina. You don't really have to go this overboard because if they can finish a combo, which they will frequently finish their attack combos with the mace, they will knock her down, giving you time to regen stamina. But ideally what I'm going for in this setup is to attack her as long as possible until hopefully they can kill her and I can just attack in one go without ever stopping. However, as stated, you can stop and regen some stamina when they knock her down, but you really have to get your timing just right. It's a lot easier to just go in on her and attack nonstop if you have a ton of stamina. And as you can see with this setup, using a short sword with the balanced weapon fitting on it with 265 stamina, I can pretty much attack through the full duration of this fight without really having to worry. And it isn't until the fight is almost over that I start to have some stamina issues. But yeah, ideally you just want as much stamina as possible. Then you just keep attacking her over and over and over and over again, keeping her stun locked while your thralls beat her down. Now, one downside to this is you do push her back a little bit, which means your thralls will miss some attacks with the mace. But overall, it works relatively well and they hit her pretty hard, do decent amount of damage, and they allow you to do a little extra damage as well if they manage to stack some sunder on her. But yeah, that's it. So just keep her stun locked while your thralls beat her down. And if you want to find out how I came to the conclusion that the tenderizer was the best weapon to run on a duo thrall build, the link to that video is on the screen right now. I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to become an official channel supporter, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.